Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hello. Here I am with my great, great, great partner, John Coleman, and one of our favorite guests, Bill Jordan. How you doing, guys? Well, I'm doing great. Hope you all are. Yeah, we are. We are. And, and you know, uh, Bill, uh, it is officially, we're very close to the official, uh, what is it called? The uh, Equinox. Yes, where, the autumnal, autumnal, autumnal Equinox. Right. Thank you, uh, uh, Equinox, where the end of summer and uh, fall actually begins. Correct. And we're, Art and I are in Southern California. You're in uh, the Carolinas. And back here, people think we don't have a fall. We don't have a winter. But in fact, you know, despite the fact that a lot of trees are evergreens here, we do see the leaves fall. We do get a fall. It's just, you know, mm. very muted. It, not like where I went to school in New Hampshire, where oh. people literally come and drive down the Kangamangas right. Highway to see the fall foliage. Right. Right. Now, how, is it, how is fall in your area? Well, you know, it kind of depends on, I guess, it, 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 whether it's how much rain you've had or whatever, as far as uh, how vibrant the leaves can be or when they turn or when the peak weekend is going to be. But certainly our Blue Ridge Mountains out in the western part of our state, out near Asheville and whatnot, uh, same with Virginia, all the way on up the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Allegheny Mountains. It's absolutely, it is gorgeous, man. I just love it. And by the way, just, to, and I'm not being nitpicky, but this is, I get, I get grief from friends of mine because I call it autumn and everybody else calls it fall. But they forget that I've just turned 66. I don't even like to say the word fall. You know, I can do, I can autumn and still get up. Right. You know, I can autumn and still get up. I can't fall and still get up. So I like I like autumn. Uh, it is my second favorite season. Um, Why only your second? Well, I think it used to probably be my first, but I do. I think I like spring the best because we've just come out of not that we have any winter, anything like, you know, where you grew up as far as the cold and the snow. And I, I like a little bit of that. We do have four seasons, but here in February, uh, typically, we will run into a period of time, a 10-day to, to two-week period of time where it's rain and 40. And, you know, it's darker at 5 o'clock and all that stuff. And it's just depressing. So when we come out of that and hit spring and you hit that first 70, 75-degree day with a light breeze and no humidity, that is heaven. And so then what happens after the oppression of summer with the, you know, 95 degree heat, 200 degree, 200 uh, percent uh, humidity, seemingly, and then you hit that first day of 75 degrees, no humidity, and a light breeze, and overnight it's 55. That's pretty close to spring. So I'm going to give it. I'm going to give autumn as my second favorite season. Also, follow, I think I, follow closely to spring. Yeah, spring. I think, uh, uh, especially a, a guy of your ilk, uh, is the uh, the season of renewal. Right, and you're a young, renewed, vibrant kind of guy, and uh, so I think that's your your upswing. Um, but I have a more important well, I, mean, I have a more important observation: those equinox <laughs> things, because there are yeah. there are a couple of them, right, every year. Uh, yeah, it's two. Right? It's, it's two. It's, it's two, so that it's equal. It's the equinox. Is that the one where if you have a a, a raw egg and you put it on its uh, uh, its uh, the the pointed part of it, it will stay up for some period of time on that day. No, this is that. That's the one where you watch the water swirl the reverse way down the drain. That's New Zealand. <laughs> that's New Zealand, and I've done that. Obviously, I have no idea what you're talking about. Right? No, the, if you take a raw egg at uh, during an equinox, you're supposed to be able to stand it on end, and it just bounces itself. You, I only take Google a fried it. egg. Go, Google I'm sorry. it. Oh, uh, and maybe even scrambled egg, but not a uh, raw egg. But I think you're closer to a hot boiled egg. But anyway, getting back to your second favorite uh, season, tell us more about fall, which is right around the corner. Well, I mean, I just, I just love it, you know. And well, it remains to be seen, uh, you know, uh, as far as what sporting events we're going to be having as we head into fall and winter. But. Um, 
It it just you know when we, we talk about the Labor Day's coming gone, it's like a reset to the rest of the year. Summertime with vacations and again whatever that has looked like this year with COVID nineteen, things are obviously different this year. It's there's no getting around that, but there is just a there's a resetting in fall, and I think there's just a renewed energy in fall, and a lot of that has to do with the weather and the changing of the seasons. And I mean the the leaves are gorgeous now. Of course, with that comes the raking of leaves. Uh, this past year, in fact, to save some money at some mulch areas we've got in our yard, some big natural areas, instead of paying for the mulch truck to come and paying for mulch, uh, and then me doing the work and spreading it, I thought I would just rake the leaves into the, the natural areas. You know, we did that thing about God on lawns, and he gave us the mulch in the form of the leaves. So this spring, my wife looked at the leaves in the natural area, and she said, what are those doing there? That that looks really ugly. That doesn't look. I said, well, that's natural mulch. God gave us that mulch to to put in our natural air. She said, well, that doesn't look good. So, gentlemen, for the first time in my life, I raked I raked the same leaves twice. I raked them into the natural area, then I raked them all up and burned them. That my dad's sure. up in heaven. My dad's up in heaven laughing at me. I could hear him. He's not the only one laughing at you. <laughs> well, that's I, that, that, would, that would certainly make me want to take fall or autumn and make it my second or third favorite season. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite things during fall is having a nice warm cup of cocoa or coffee. In and a special I'd like to embrace that cup hey. of coffee. Um I only wish some of our friends could share in this amazing experience. Art, Art you are so kind of smooth on these segues. Okay. You're you know, just Art, so I'll smooth. bet they could share if they knew where to buy a mug. Well, you can get a mug, you know, uh, as many as you want. I got a garage full of them <laughs> right now. Uh, it's a 15 ounce mug. It is printed, by the way, Embrace the Boom is printed on both sides. And the purpose of that is one, as you drink your coffee or tea or whatever it might be and you're a baby boomer, it reminds you to embrace the boom and where we are in life at this moment. Uh, you can't, you know, go back and live when you were 25 years old and your heyday and all that stuff. You can think about it, don't dwell on it, but live for the now, stay in the present. And then maybe there's somebody sitting across from you and they can see this and they say, what's this embrace the boom thing? What's this all about? And then you can kind of help spread the word too about living your life, forgetting your age, and embracing the boom. You can get this mug and free shipping on all domestic orders. It makes a great gift for fellow baby boomers for their birthday or whatever it might be. At my website, Bill Jordan, embrace the boom.com. And then along with the mug, which is a tangible thing, the sort of the intangible is I've got my series of 15 slash 16 video practices to enable you to embrace the boom in full measure and help you to lead a calmer, more fulfilling, Maybe better life with just some tweaking of how you're thinking and in what you're doing. It's help, it helps me anyway, and I just wanted to share what is working for me. Well, Bill, uh, thank you very much for everything. And I will be embracing the boom this afternoon, sitting on the porch, watching... Uh -huh. The leaves fall from the trees. Oh, is that nice? What a scene you have, what a, what a picture you have painted. So until yeah. next time, guys, I appreciate you having me on. Live your life, forget your age and embrace the boom. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.